basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. It's getting noisy here in Charlotte. We're at the Time Warner Cable Arena, home of the Hornets. Take a look at the Heat. They've definitely started the season right with a hot start. Well, this is a special matchup we've got here today. Two of the great franchises in this league. A lot of great games between these two clubs over the years, Clark. You know what? I think if you ask them, Steve, as far as they're concerned, this game counts double time in the standings. It really holds a lot of weight with them. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. D, he's in at the point. On the perimeter, Wade and Dang. Whiteside is out there with Chris Bosh. And so it's the Heat getting on the board first. Bonley setting the pick for Jennings. Jennings can't get that one to fall. Well, it was Miami winning their last game against Milwaukee. Yeah, guys, it was just their night. It seemed like they hit every shot they looked at. Absolutely. It was just one of those games where the hot shooting of a couple of players eventually just infected everybody. Here's D. Makes it off the glass. D's got his first points of the game. And the layup just gift-wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. It's Jennings with the drive. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. The Hornets shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And Jennings drops them both. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. D, he's guarded by Jennings. Puts up the baby hook. Brandon Jennings with the rebound. Miami on defense. Getting their first look of the season at this Hornets team. Yeah, I think they're a little better than this ball club, and it showed last year uh, winning the season series. Now here's Kid Gilchrist. He had 10 points in the win against Utah. Put in a lot of good work on the boards. That helped him, too. And the Hornets miss again. The Heat have gone two for four from the field so far today. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. D, he's guarded by Jennings. That's good. Whiteside's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, guys, so much emotion is going to be kind of going through his head in this one. Playing in your hometown can be a little nerve-wracking for some players, but... You know, normally after the first few possessions you settle down and you just play your game but no doubt he's going to notice that cheering section of friends and family he's got up in the stands that's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot that's exactly how it's done the heat have gone three of five shooting the ball so far first quarter of basketball just over two and a half minutes play d it's rebounded by charlotte they put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And they made their mark defensively that day. That was what was, I think, most impressive. Really caused a lot of problems in the paint. Well, they spent a lot of that game in the air and got their hands on a lot of shots. Now here's Kid Gilchrist. After the miss from D. Four on the clock. And it's blocked by Wade. D. He's guarded by Jennings. On the wing, Dang. Bosch heads the pick for Dang. D, the three-pointer, no good. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. And the dunk by Von Lee. Uh, Clark, I'm guessing that wasn't the plan for the D on that trip. <laughs> and I'm agreeing with you there. Once they opened the lane up for him, that was a little emphasis on that finish. Take what the defense gives you and then just power it home, right? Why not? Jennings against Wade. Shot from 12. Jefferson can't get that one to fall. Miami's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. It's going to make you earn it from the line. Miami shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Now the numbers last year for them at the line, not great. Just 73% free throw shooting as a team. Yeah, a, as a group, really a dismal year for them from the line last season, guys. The drive by Jennings. 
Jefferson setting the pick for Jennings. Jumper off the screen. That one goes. Count. Jennings has got six points. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. D passes to Whiteside. Barry is the easy one. The defense playing way too soft there, guys. He's just getting right to the rim. In the corner, it's Kid Gilchrist. From downtown, Jennings with another miss. For Miami, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Outside Dan. Beyond the arc. Good. Dang's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? Outside Jennings. Pass to Anderson. Takes the three. The shot is off. Well, he'd go the other way with it. Rebounding's going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. And I'll tell you what, this has been one ugly quarter for him. And it keeps getting uglier. I mean, his touch has basically gone AWOL. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating, and it's sent back by Box. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. So it's the Hornets now. It's a five-point game. Nobody near Kid Gilchrist. Well, they're having a poor first quarter, shooting the ball at a pretty low percentage right now. Here's D, and he gets it to go. D's got six points. Not exactly how he wanted to start this game, just two for seven, but maybe that shot will get him going a little bit. It's Jennings with the drive. Right side, Jefferson. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. The Heat in fifth. Yeah, so much of their defense around their ability to block shots in the low post. That's why their numbers were so good last season. Wade left side. There's the pass to D. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It goes on Brandon Jennings. And Clark, as you said, a poor start down big early. Yeah, but you know what? They haven't done a good job of converting some easy chances. If they change that, things could turn around. That one misses. Been a poor shooting performance for him today, but luckily for them, a lot of his teammates have come through. Anderson with it. Wade picks him up. Jennings kicks to Anderson. It's back to Jennings. Three-pointer, and he gets it to go. Jennings has got nine. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Here's D. Here's Whiteside, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. The perfect four for four for him to start this game out. Boy, he looks fresh and confident out there right now. Jennings dishes to Henderson. Jennings kicks to Anderson. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. Jennings has got his third assist on the night. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. And so here is Miami. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. Here we go. One on one. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And you can see the importance of that steal. I mean, really a four-point turnaround with the conversion at the other end right there. Yeah, that's big. I mean, you, you negate a basket at one end, score at the other. Now is when the momentum can really shift. Now here's Bosch. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Six on the shot clock. They get it again. Soft touch off the glass. And the Heat lead by two. Strong rebounding, and he's rewarded with the easy putback. Jefferson setting the pick for Jennings. Oh, that's blocked. They retain possession. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Inside, you have Von Ley and Jefferson. Jennings out there with Henderson. And it's Hairston into the three slot. So that's the Hornets five. Jefferson uses the glass to finish the layup. 
Jefferson's got his second bucket tonight. The Heat trail by 12. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, gentlemen, D in their last game against the Bucks put on a show. He had 37 points and added a couple of rebounds with that. His great outing kept the team's hot streak going in what has been a strong stretch of games for this team. We'll see if they can continue that here, Kevin. Great job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can stay in a role like that tonight. I agree with you there. I mean, he obviously hit on something that brought out the best in him, and you can be sure he's going to take the exact same approach in this one. Definitely. And as confident a player as he already was, now he's got to be feeling absolutely unstoppable. Now with that last title, you could see the coach was addressing how they were going to make a tactical adjustment. And after the coach does something like that, it's on the players now to lock in and follow the lead and execute. If they don't, then the coach will put them on the pot. Now here's Von Lee. After the miss from D, Jennings wide open. It's hauled in by Luol Dang. Dang's got three rebounds now in this one. D covered by Hairston. Good on the shot, and with that, the Charlotte lead is cut down now to just nine on the basket from D. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Now here's Jennings. He had 25 points in the win against Utah. It wasn't just offense either, Kevin, and he was so disruptive defensively. I don't remember how many steals he had, but, man, he was dominant out there. And here are the Heat now following the miss by Jennings. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. Tries again, and there's the nice layup by Vonley. And the Hornets lead by nine. He's a grinder. Love what he does under the offensive boards, really bringing energy and life to his team. D passes to Whiteside to the left wing. Over to the wing, the three ball, and again, Miami with the triple. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Charlotte leading by six. Outside Jennings, they set the pick. Anderson with it, coming in off a 10-point game his last outing. Outside Jennings. Another shot, and it's blocked. Napier passes to D. Stolen by Henderson. And oh, here we go with Henderson. Hammers it in after taking it the length of the floor. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. They better not. They've got to pad their lead any time an opportunity presents itself. And I'll tell you what, that was a golden one there. The Heat trail by eight. Passes it to D. He dishes it to Whiteside. The shot is off. Charlotte has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. It's stolen by Dang. Pass to D. To the right side. From the arc. Good. Nice play there from Napier. Napier's got six points in the quarter. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. Henderson with the screen for Jennings. They grab their own miss. Good. Nice play there from Von Lee. Well, they've really cranked up the intensity, tracking down those loose carrots, stacking up second chance buckets in a big pile. And those hustle points, Clark, I mean, that's just another reason why they've got the lead here. Here's D. Al Jefferson grabs the miss. Jefferson's got rebound number five here tonight. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Here's Henderson. Lays it up and banks it in. And now it's a nine-point Hornets lead. Set a good example for the rest of his teammates. D. Henderson defending. Knocked away. And here we go. Fast break, Henderson. Oh! oh, oh ridiculous. Tore it down that time. 
Agility leads to thievery there as he's got his hand in there to get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. Plays like that are telling the story of this game for me so far, Clark. They cannot afford to hand over any more easy points like that. Lock at six, the 10 footer. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Napier. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. And blocked. D, he's guarded by Jennings. The kick out to Bosch. Here's Napier. Good, and it's Bosch picking up the assist. Napier's got 11 points in the quarter. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. I mean, those shots have just come on easy, open looks. Good. Henderson's got 22 points. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. Napier passes to D. That's blocked. Here is Harrison. Eight points his last outing. On the wing, Dang. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. I tell you what, that's just a major. Too many turnover. Lavoy Allen comes in. And so we wrap up the first half. Hornets lead by three. Well, obviously things have not gone your way to this point, at least through the first two quarters. How are you guys going to get back in this one? Uh, well, it's, it's a game of runs, right? They came out strong and got hot from the floor, which allowed them to build this lead. But I think we'll be able to make a run of our own when we come out of half. I guess we'll see. Let's hope you have time to cover it. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, Doris, and folks, don't go away after the break. Okay, guys, let's talk about that first half. We've given this crowd way too much to cheer about. The second half is going to be played on our turn. See if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Talk about being on his game. Look at the numbers for Henderson. 22 points and all the steals he's collected only add to his impressive stat line. Yeah, whether he's picking someone's pocket or picking off a pass, he has been causing some mayhem out there for sure. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Dang and Bosch are the three and four. D Wade out there with D. And it's Whiteside in at the five, roaming the paint. Hornets leading by 13. It's three on three on the fast break. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Wade. The dish to Whiteside. And the pass to D. Out to Wade. Down to five on the shot clock. With the shot. Dang can't get it to go. Charlotte has gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Kicks it to Henderson. And it's Dang with the rebound. Dang's got rebound number five here tonight. Bosch a screen on Jennings. D passes to Dang. D, he's covered by Kid Gilchrist. Feeds it to Whiteside. There's the bucket. Good. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Outside Jennings. It's Jefferson High Post. It's back to Jennings. It's good from long range. Jennings has got 18 points. The Heat trail by 14. D, he's guarded by Jennings. D passes to Whiteside. Charlotte has gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. From 13, rebound by the Heat. 
Dee's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Jennings with the steal. To the paint. Got a piece of it. D. He's guarded by Jennings. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. Jennings against Bunch. Anderson dishes to Jennings. There's the double team from Whiteson. On lay, kicks to Jefferson. Six to shoot. And the call will be against D. That'll be his second foul of the game. A look here at last year in the NBA where the Hornets ranked. First in opponent field goal percentage. Fifth in opponent offense. And they were a top ten team in field goal shooting. Pretty impressive. And Clark, you know this. I mean, anytime you see a team number one in the NBA in field goal percentage defense, you know they're getting after. So this is a club that plays extremely hard. They take great pride in their defense. They have a concerted plan, a concerted effort every single night to try to stop the opposing team. So it's Miami now, following the miss by Al Jefferson. The offensive rebound, D, and you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it and look to finish the play right there. It's been a nice game for D. He has nine rebounds, and his huge assist tally makes it all the more impressive. Well, and he's got this team in such a good groove right now. The way he's moving the ball and passing, getting everybody involved, they're in a great flow. Now, here's Von Lee. He's got six. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Von Lee's got eight points. Looks like he may have been showboating a little bit at the end of that one. The 2K leaderboard provides us now with this list of last season's assist leaders. Number one, Brandon Jennings. Well, he was the top dime dropper in the league. I mean, he led the league in assists, and his vision and his willingness to give up the ball made him the top dime dropper. Miami with the ball. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Henderson kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Charlotte moving it around. Jennings passes to Henderson. It's back to Jennings. Henderson against Wade. It's Henderson on the wing. 22 points for him. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Six points for Al Jefferson. The Heat trail by 15. D passes to Whiteside. And it's Dang in the corner. He kicks it to Whiteside. Outside Bosch. Fires the three. That's good. Bosch has got eight. Boy, when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like he can, what a huge bonus that is. Hornets leading by 12. Jennings dishes to Vonley. Jefferson setting the pick for Jennings. There's the feed to Henderson. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. Jennings has got his eighth assist in the game. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on it. That's a mammoth dunk for someone who's far from the biggest guy out there on the floor. Yeah, perhaps that'll give them the boost they're looking for to get out of the hole here. Yeah, it should. I mean, if that doesn't fire them up, I don't know what will. And Miami has possession following the miss by Jennings. No good from D. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Jennings. Back to Kid Gilchrist. From deep. And another three for Charlotte. The Heat trail by 15. D. He's guarded by Jennings. Jennings with the steal. And even three on three break. Here's Von Lay. And it's Miami with the rebound. D's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. He feeds it to Bosch. And he gets it to go. Bosch has got 10 points in the game. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. And the call will be against D. 
too many times. Gambo has checked in for For Miami, they've gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Wade passes to Benjamin. Wade kicks to Napier. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. 16 points for him. Well, as long as the threes keep dropping for him, he'll continue firing away. And they are dropping for him. What a game he's having from deep. D, he's checked in for Luol Dang. Now here's Henderson. He's got 24. And Kid Gilchrist gets it to go in. You know, when he's in that tight, with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. D passes to Bosch. Hairston with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. A second chance effort. Can't get the layup. The Heat trail by 12. To the middle. Here's Napier. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Napier's got 18 points in the game. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively, Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. Henderson, no good. Well, remember, he made two three-pointers in the first half, but has not been able to get anything to fall here in the second. D passes to Bosch. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Charlotte leading by 10. It's deflected and stolen by Napier. Pushing it up. Wade gets the bucket. He's got five. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Hairston kicks to Anderson. Right wing. Avonlay. Eight points for him. How about the effort we're seeing from him on the boards? He's already in double figures. Yeah, and more importantly, Steve, his rebounds are leading the team. D passes to Wade. D covered by Hairston. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Check out the game for Bach. He's got 10 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. I mean, the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. Zeller is checked in for Vonley. Heat also with the sub. And this is checked in. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Seems to me as though he's lost his way a little bit in the second half. He'd been turnover free before the break. That's certainly not the case anymore. The Heat making a switch here. Haslam's checked in. Now here is Haslam. Good. Nice play there from Napier. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Defense cannot do anything to stop him. Yeah, they're trying everything, but nothing's working. Henderson kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Pass to Henderson. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Henderson's got four points in the quarter. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. D. Henderson defending. D passes to Haslam. And the foul called on Bismack Biombo. Brandon Jennings, he's checked in for Gerald Henderson. This is Duenas. Passes it to Napier. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Shot clock at six. D passes Duenas. Let's it go. Benjamin shot is off. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Hairston kicks to Jennings. It gets rebounded by Ennis. Boy, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. D passes to Haslam. That's good. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about... Stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. Here is Hairston. Biombo kicks to Hairston. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. 
They'll get a chance to check out Brandon Jennings, some of his numbers. Great year for him last year. Last season put up about 21 points per game, nine assists and three rebounds. And you know, pretty terrific numbers across the board. You know, and considering the skills he possesses, that's what he's pretty much expected to bring on a night in and night out basis, Steve. Here's D. Again, the Heat, good for two. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game. Guys, they're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Here's Jennings, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. Count the bucket. And that's 20 points for D. They can go two for one. Yeah, they need to play it smart. Make sure you get a good shot first and then maybe a second possession. 32 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. To tie, and it's Miami with another. Despite the troubles he had in the first half, he stayed composed and focused, and now he's getting it going. And here's Jennings. 20 points for him. Zeller setting the pick for Jennings. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Jennings passes to Harrison. That falls. Great assist by Brandon Jennings. Harrison's got five points so far. Here's D. No luck. We're at the end of the... And now with our State Farm assist of the game, a replay showing one of 10 tremendous assists in this game from D. What an excellent all-around game, too, Kevin. 10 assists just shows you, you know, what we already know about him, but he seems to know where his teammates are. He understands the, the, the offense and what the game plan is. Uh, he is very tough to defend. I like what you say there. He understands the game plan. And there's always one, and the guy to execute it, he's the guy to do it. At the three, MKG and Cody Zeller at the four. Jennings out there with Hairston, and it's Jefferson in at the five. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. That's good. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Charlotte. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And also the steals. I mean, they've really been harassing the ball today, forcing mistakes, really turning that into their advantage. And here are the Hornets now after the miss from D. Jennings kicks to Hairston. Jacks up a three. Can't get it to go. And it's Miami the other way. D. He's covered by Kid Gilchrist. D passes to Deck. Out to the right wing. Here's Benneman. Hits it from three-point range. Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Now here's Jennings. He dishes it to Jefferson. Fades back. That falls. Great assist by Brandon Jennings. Jennings has got 10 assists here tonight. So active. The Heat trail by seven. Dang passes to D. Ennis in the corner. Lock at six. Tipped away. And oh, here we go. Jennings with nobody back. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. The defense looking a little bit dazed now. A ferocious throw down there. Not bad for a player of his size. Not bad at all. How about that spring coming out of those legs? Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. The first one falls. Some great free throw shooting so far in this second half. I think they should keep trying to initiate contact and get back to the line until they start missing from there. But as it is, they're perfect so far, so keep it up. Monlay's checked in for the Hornets. Henderson comes in for Hairston. Chris Bosch has checked in for Miami. Wade comes in for Ennis. 
Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. A baseline J. Here's Von Ley. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. We'll shoot one more at the free throw line. So far in the game for Von Ley. Ten points, and when it comes to rebounding, he has, he's had a nice night there, too. Yeah, he's really been mixing it up in the middle, getting in there and doing a lot of the dirty work for them. D, and that's off the glass and in. D's got 15 points here in the second half. Hornets leading by seven. Jefferson setting the pick for Jennings. Rebound by D. For Miami, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. From 13, Bonley with the rebound. Bonley's got six rebounds in the game. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Bonley. With that reverse jam, the fans got a little extra show there. That one definitely had something, you're right, extra on it. That was one of those three or four plays that you see every night in an NBA game that just leaves you in awe. Here's Jennings. 11 feet away. Misses off the right iron. Well, that's a bad miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. Outside Bosch lets it go from deep. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Up next for them is the Pacers in Indianapolis. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. And you see a player have to come out of the game like this. I mean, you, you just hope for the best. That's exactly right. You do hope for the best. You cross your fingers, say a prayer, and hope it's nothing major. We'll see what the update is here shortly. Benjamin, he's checked in for the heat. He has not lost his focus today. Even when things haven't gone his team's way, he's still bringing it. Outside Jennings. Pass to Henderson. Shot clock at six. Bonley setting the pick for Henderson. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. The pass to D. And stolen by Bonley. Now here's Henderson. Jennings kicks to Henderson. Looking for Jefferson. He gets it there. And he gets the bucket. And the Hornets lead by nine. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. Here's D. It's rebounded by Jefferson. Jefferson's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Jennings with the ball. Now guarded by D. It's stolen. In transition, here comes Miami. Here's Wade. Finish off the break. Great job capitalizing on that steal and getting the easy points in transition. Exactly how it should be done after a turnover. Time now for an injury report. Now we'll send it over to Doris Burke for an update on Chris Bosch. Hey, guys. I was able to talk with the head athletic trainer of Miami about his status. The news is serious and scary. He told me it's a torn Achilles tendon. That is going to make things very hard on them in what is still a very young season. Hopefully, as early as it is, he has time to recover and help this team down the road. Guys? Thank you, Doris. Hopefully, we'll see him very soon. Well, they like him back as quick as possible, but they also want him healthy. So it's Miami now, following the basket by Brandon Jennings. Here's D. Can't get it to go. Jefferson with some nice D. Jennings against Wade. Jefferson has a wide open look. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. Jennings has got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. D passes to Whiteside. Outside Dang. Shoots the three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Henderson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Jennings with the ball. Now guarded by D. Henderson with the screen for Jennings. It's Henderson on the wing. This one for three. 
And it's Wade with the rebound. The Heat trail by 11. Passes it to D. Now the dish to Dang. Here's Benneman. Miami no good on that time either. Charlotte has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Jennings with the ball. He's picked up by Dang. Jennings dishes to Henderson. Shot clock at six. Here's Jefferson and Charlotte again with the bucket. Nice pass there to set that bucket up. Yeah, guys, and that's 10 of their last 12 points now coming off of assists. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. He has been fantastic this quarter, guys. It's just the kind of effort they need if they're going to continue to trim the lead. Outside Jennings kicks it to Henderson. Left side Jefferson. Again, the Hornets score. I love it when a player like this shakes off a poor first half and comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. Here's Benneman. Connects from three-point range. Hornets leading by 10. Jennings kicks to Jefferson. Now here's Jennings. D right on him. Another shot. Jefferson with the bucket, getting it done inside. Jefferson's got 14 points here in the second half. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Kid Gilchrist against Wade. Kid Gilchrist, the pass to Jennings. It's a nice pass in here by Charlotte. Seems like he's gotten every single rebound today. Glass eating at its finest. I mean, you're not going to see a guy with 20-plus boards too often. That's an impressive number. And that one's good. Man, he has been their unquestioned leader offensively this quarter. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, Kevin, Steve Clifford was just going over the game plan with his team. His message? I don't want us patting ourselves on the back just yet. We can congratulate ourselves after the final horn. Right now, we need to go out there and take this one home. Guys? Here's Jefferson after the made shot from D. And Jefferson, here we go. And he gets it to go. Jefferson's got 20 points. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. The Heat trail by 12. D, he's guarded by Jennings. D, here's Whiteside. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Charlotte has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Vonley, and it's Miami with the rebound. One fifty-one left to play here in the fourth. Shots good from D. I'll tell you what, he's made more than a few of those in his career. Hornets leading by ten. Kid Gilchrist ends the pick for Jennings, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You know, turnovers really weren't part of the story here early on, but that's changed now. They're starting to have some trouble handling the ball. Whiteside side with it. Jefferson is right there. White side. Good. Boy, I'm not seeing the same energy level as I did in the first half. Second chance points not coming quite as easily as they did earlier, and I think it's a matter of effort. Now here's Jennings. Feeds to Henderson. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Fires, high post. Good D by Wade. Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. D, he's guarded by Jennings. Here's D, almost, but it rolls out. The Hornets shooting and hitting almost everything here in the fourth, up around 58% from the field. Henderson, no one around him. Hits the jumper in space. Henderson's got 30. And now just watching the clock wind down in what will turn out to be a win here for the Hornets. 
They never settled for mediocre shots. No, they didn't. They found their way inside effectively all game long. Penetration always produces results. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. In what should be an exciting four-game season series between these two teams, they have to feel great about taking this first one tonight against the Heat. Here's Jefferson. And good. You got the Ingles that time as it falls. And the Hornets lead by 12. They certainly haven't let these fans down tonight. It's been a fun night to be in the building. It has been. I mean, the atmosphere has been great, and no doubt that helped with the winning effort. First free throw is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. Both shots good from the strike. And the call will be against D. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. First one falls for him. Both free throws good from Daniels. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and polish it off. Throws it from deep. Off the mark. And so it's the Hornets taking... Well, Gerald, this team seems...